Today I'm going to talk about plagiarism and how to avoid it. Intentional or unintentional, plagiarism is unacceptable in academic writing. I'm going to share eight different ways that you can avoid plagiarism. But before we begin, let me introduce myself. My name is Vidhi Podda. I'm an associate professor and you're watching a series of talks aimed at understanding the PhD process. I want to help you in your PhD journey and want to make it a memorable one. So if you're ready, let's begin. But first, let's see what is plagiarism and why is it such a big concern? When we refer to plagiarism, plagiarism means when you're copying somebody else's writing, ideas or concepts and not telling or not informing the readers that you have used this idea from a different person or from a paper which you have read. Plagiarism can be intentional or unintentional. Intentional is when you know you have copied it from somewhere and pasted it as is. Unintentional could be you would have copied but you forgot to cite it or forgot to put some content that you have taken in double quotes. The first step is to always use original writing. Have your own ideas and write that in the text or the paragraphs that you're writing for your academic paper. If you have an opinion about a particular topic or a point of research that you're doing, just write it in your own words. That's the easiest way to avoid plagiarism. Plagiarism will not happen if you are not using somebody else's content. The second way in which you can avoid plagiarism is to paraphrase and cite. So if you have read say four or five different articles and you want to collect the ideas that you have gathered from reading those papers, you can, you can do that. You, the only thing you have to do is paraphrase it, write it in your own words and always cite. So if you have used five papers, you should have at least five references the where, you cite the, where you cite that word. So the question comes is what all should I cite? So common knowledge, public knowledge is not necessarily required to be cited. For example, cars drive on roads. That's a knowledge that everyone has. So you don't really need to cite that kind of an information. But if it is an academic thought, academic opinion that a researcher has given, you definitely have to cite that. Now the third tip, what you can do is always use a proper referencing software such as Zotero or EndNote, or there are many other tools that you can use to cite, to collect your references and cite them as you write. So keep in mind, Always uh, gather your references, store them properly in Zotero or in any other referencing management tool and use that whenever you are writing. I often use uh, Zotero, that's my preferred tool, uh, referencing tool, but there are many others like I mentioned. So whichever one you use, make sure that you use it and regularly cite whatever you write. The fourth tip, you should always follow one or other form of referencing formats. For example, IEEE, APA, there are hundreds of different types of formats uh, for citing. And many of many other times, uh, the journals where you're going to submit your articles will specify a particular referencing format that they prefer. It could be IEEE, could be uh, APA, could be, could be any other, could be Chicago or so on. So whichever one you use, stick to that for that particular article. If you're not sure uh, whether to cite or not, the best way is to cite it. Uh, you could also put some uh, put, uh, put the content in double quotes and that is often used when you're using uh, definitions that are given by somebody else or you're picking up exact content or an opinion that some other researchers had stated it in their paper. So co uh, copy it, put it in double quotes and cite it. If you're new in research, there may be questions that you don't know that whether to cite or not. In that case, the best way or one of the best ways is to approach your librarian. Uh, they may able, they may assist you in uh, doing the referencing properly. Alternatively, many a times libraries do run um, workshops, uh, referencing workshops. So I strongly recommend you attend those workshops and get a hang of doing uh, doing referencing properly. Finally, once you have written and completed your document, it is good idea to put that document through a plagiarism detection software. I personally use Turnitin, but there are many other softwares that you can use that, uh, that will help you to go through your document completely and see if there are any areas where you have unintentionally plagiarized. And that's an opportunity for you to actually go and fix that, that bit of information within your paper. 
So there you go. These were the eight tips that I had for you on how you can prevent plagiarism. As long as you cite, you will not plagiarize the content that you are that you're writing. So always be on the safe side, cite whatever you write. Thank you very much for watching this video. I greatly appreciate it. If you have learned anything from this video, please, please, please hit the like button and share it with anyone you think would benefit from this video as well. If you haven't done already, please hit the subscribe button and the bell, bell icon so that you could be kept informed of any new videos that I do which would help you in your PhD journey. Thank you once again and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.